kind. <sighs> ah! I didn't see you. I didn't see you over there. <laughs> I didn't see you over there. What the f what the f what the f Bro, I need to figure out like my new, you know, my new intro way. How I'm gonna do my old things to be. Uh, I need to find something new, or I might just be coming on this. Bitch. You know what I'm saying? But that's so boring. Like, let me see. That is. That is. That is the is. Yeah. What's up, y'all? It's me, April, and I'm back in this. Fuck intro for all of that. I'm literally just gonna get into it. I know y'all can see I'm in a new area. Not that new to you. If you've been here for a long time then you know exactly where i'm standing right now but if you don't we gonna get into all of that Ugh. i kind of want to move off my like personal life but i keep fucking leaving every like one two months i promise y'all it is not my fault i'm literally just dealing with real life right now and adulting and i'm not the type to pull my camera out every two seconds everything is not content worthy mental health is not content worthy at all i believe you know fix things and figure shit out in your own space and then come back when you're good. That's how I see it. So I'm here now. I'm doing great. I'm doing better than ever, actually. So I am in my house again. I'm not in that apartment. Oh my God, I'm actually so happy about it. Um, I did tell y'all that I wasn't sure about this, that, and the third. I don't even want to get into it when it comes down to family. I just, I just want to remove that whole entire stuff from my channel. Like, I don't even want to bring that up moving forward. I just want to have fun with y'all, just do cool ass new things. Not too much personal life, like I said. So me and my mom are amazing. We have figured our problems out and what am I, what am I trying to say? You know, I still have certain things that I, I go through based off of shit that has happened within myself. You know, I do have like, Permanent damage. I'm not putting, I'm okay. But I'm able to be an adult, move along with stuff. Um, I've always told y'all about how I feel about just wanting my mom and my life things to be good. So I'm fine. We had a talk and I said everything I needed to say. And her response to me was the most mind blowing response because it was the most positive, reassuring response I have ever seen in my life. And that for me was enough to move on. I don't know if moving out like put different stuff in perspective for me, but I just am so thankful for like everything that I have. I am beyond the word blessed, like beyond blessed. And I, that, that's all I'm grateful for. I'm, I'm just grateful. So yeah, I'm not living in that apartment. I don't even want to do a story time, nothing like that because the, the, yeah, the type if you're watching the bitch don't deserve no attention from me that's all i'm finna say she deserves zero she's a nuisance she's a fucking garbage pack i don't i'm not speaking on this dumb asshole all i can tell y'all a tip is to never live with anyone especially a old ass bitch that act weird as fuck don't know nothing about nothing Fake as hell. I would never do it. I would never recommend anybody ever again in life to live with anyone, not even your own family members. I promise to God, if you gonna do it, please go through a background check, see what people be on, figure out their emotions, and when you find that out, then maybe do something with somebody. But until then, no ma'am. I do not recommend it. I actually was already planning on moving because I could not no longer. The roommate has their own issues with their own life and self. So um, I was just gonna separate myself from that shit completely, but I was planning on moving out. I had a whole entire thing set up. But then like right before that is when me and my mom started talking, right? So when we got into talking and we actually met up in real life and talked, she told me that they are moving to Germany. My mom, my dad, and my little brother all move into Germany in literally a couple of weeks. I've been here for probably about, I wanna say like a month or two I've been back here in the house and they're leaving in like January. 
so yeah it's like a month that they're leaving but they pretty much asked me if i could watch over the house and just take care of stuff like while they're gone and then also if i don't want to go out and spend motherfucking rent bitch because hello and for me at first i was real away about it i told y'all on camera like i didn't know what i wanted to do if like i did want to come back here or if i did just want to go ahead and continue what i was doing but something just kept telling me like be smart april like really um weigh out your options and really think about it don't just make a decision based off of oh my god the whole reason why i also was filming this video because i was finished straightening my hair with y'all so what's going on right now i've been doing this wig since yesterday but it's only because i did a whole process with it like bleaching the knots plucking um washing just the whole entire you know wig renewal but yeah so i just i just weighed out my options and to be honest for me my puppy and just it was like yeah this will this will work right now this will be fine like i was blessed to be in a house this is a million dollar house y'all and if you've ever seen this house you know how big this house is if you've been on my instagram or anything this is a huge house i am blessed to be able to be in something like this so if i could take that opportunity me and my parents good for sure i appreciate them for that very much i'm grateful and i'm just gonna you know take the opportunity instead of sitting here being hard-headed making my life more complicated and hard you know what i mean just really being logical so best decision best decision because honestly <laughs> all i'm gonna say is best decision i love living in a house too got a huge ass backyard um it was kind of hard living with six inside of an apartment you know walking him he has so much fun here then he he loves everybody in the house like he sees people every day he's not just it's not just me and him it's just it's great it's great it's perfect i did have this feel like what if things don't go what if what if what if what if but it has not been that since like me and my mom can get into this room she's my mom some things don't change you know what i'm saying but being an adult is a completely different story it just hasn't got to that point so and and for that i'm very thankful for that it's just such a difference i cannot compare it to what it used to be at all like at all even if we do get upset with one another or anything i've been able to grow up and have certain experiences where maybe i can understand her in certain instances you know what i'm saying so it has not been that at all that's pretty much what's going on right now i'm still not straightening my hair <laughs> they're leaving and i'm just gonna be here in the house by my self well my sister i think she's gonna be here but my sister she's 18 and she doesn't know if she wants to go to germany or stay here she feels like german life if y'all know we're from germany we were born in germany so it feels really nice to be able to go back for me i'm able to go to germany every month my parents have like this thing set up where i can just book a flight whenever i want to go oh we finna be in german like you're coming with me are you ready it's gonna be a whole vlog i cannot wait for that i actually debated myself moving as well because bro what hello <laughs> like how many people get to truly live in germany like i'm from there and everything and I, I was there like the beginning of my life up until like five six years old yeah but right now at like 21 it would be such a new experience um just i love being in foreign countries too that's something with being a military kid that i've always experienced and i love kind of sad i'm not gonna lie with how cool me and my mom are now like i'm kind of sad that she's leaving like I'm, i cannot even make that up kind of sad that they're all leaving i talk to my mom every single day we just be sitting in the kitchen drinking turkish tea together talking and so it's just gonna be kind of weird now but it's okay because i can still go see them and you know all that type stuff i'm excited for what life has made in store i'm hyped for my next chapters and now that i'm somewhere stable like super stable there's no like issues i really hope that me saying this I, whoa i really hope we saying that nothing just decides to poop in my face but i really want to master my consistency like I really do like this is really something that I really cannot let go of like and it's not just with YouTube it's with everything in my life like I do have my mental health that I deal with 
but I really try not to let that get to me or take over my life. Like, I really don't want that. I have so many goals and so much stuff I want to achieve in this lifetime. I'm already 21, nine years away from 30. Like, I have stuff to do right now. So I'm really, if I master consistency, I will be a fucking superpower. I cannot make this up. I want to be able to open myself up to everything again. I'm sorry if you guys have ever felt, and this is like really from the heart right now. I'm sorry if y'all have ever felt like I've let you down or like I have just not given a fuck about my channel or like I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm literally starting from the bottom now. We're here. I'm fine with that, the whole process. Like, and we still have a goal to hit not only 50k but 100k and i'm not letting that go either but um yeah we're gonna get off that topic so i'm i'm great i'm amazing i'm amazing i'm amazing i'm amazing my parents are taking everything out of this house and i'm very sad about it like this shit gonna be so empty i'm gonna be hearing echoes 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 so we have to go furniture shopping set this bitch up i don't know if i'm gonna keep my bedroom in that room or if i want to there's like four rooms in this house so i don't know if i want to move into a different room i do still plan on yes moving of course my uh family is leaving for three years so by the time they get back i will of course be in either my own apartment or house am i in a rush though no i'm not not with the way this world's set up right now if i'm blessed enough to have parents that's you know this house is bought i could still Hello, whenever the opportunity it arises for me to move out and stuff within the next like three years, yeah, I'm with it. I might not even stay here in the DMV. I might just go somewhere else. I've been thinking about other places. I finally switched my hair and I am a black hair girly now. Well, brown hair girly, I don't know, really, but I just wanted something that looks like more natural that I could like literally wear like every motherfucking day or you know something that don't get too tired because having the light brown is cool but obviously like that's not my natural color so this be giving me like match matches my brows I, that's why i really took my time on it because i want this to be like my main hair right now this wig was blue and i put dye on it i was like let me get into my creative ways yesterday you can still see like some little blue parts but i like it y'all know how i be liking a little bit of a little bit of in my stuff oh and the spray i'm using l'oreal paris so good it makes your hair not oily at all it makes it very soft and shiny and easy to work with when doing this heat protected i can't wait to smoke i have not smoked all day i really be chilling y'all like i literally just smoke my weed and be living my motherfucking life trying to and get some the motherfucking money i do want to get into tiktok though and like show like my cute pretty girl things and just other things that i be doing i literally live 20 minutes away from dc always over there i want to like show cool ass restaurants and different stuff that i'll be going to that's like real normal to me but i know other people will be like i want to get into that and just really just every single part of myself like i posted on my twitter and i said I'm really in that era to just take all opportunities that I can. When it comes down to OnlyFans, I stopped doing OnlyFans for like a minute, but I think I'm gonna be back on OnlyFans now. I'm not gonna be too hard on myself with that shit and like act like it's like this big changer of life. And I don't wanna say it's because so many people do it or every girl do it type shit, cause I'm not the type to just do something everybody doing, but it's just not that big of a deal. It's just really not. Especially if you're not just like full blown, you get what I'm saying? Like, I'm not doing none of that. Like, I just be looking a little sexy, you know, looking a little sexy, let me take a peek. Like, that's all, it don't be So, like I said, all opportunities, hello. Let's just get to the bag for real, like Natalie Nunn. I'm just gonna be active in all my stuff again. And trying to go crazy. If y'all don't see me post, I want you to go on my DMs and be like, you said it! Maybe even take a clip out of my video, send it to me, you feel me? But it's not gonna be that, I'm gonna hold myself to it. I've just been doing a lot of adjusting, I don't know, and I can feel myself changing by the day and getting older and just, the senses are coming alive. Yeah, yeah. Okay! I'm hungry.
hungry. I want a salad from Chick-fil-A. Speaking of Chick-fil-A, I need to get back into my little mukbangs. But I do want to say I appreciate all of the support that y'all continuously show me whether I'm here or not. And mind you, I only got 42K. But I really got a strong base, whether it's on here or Instagram. Like, why my camera just... Yeah, because you try to hold that shit ain't work. Anyway, we're back. Camera keep trying to die on me. Like I said, I love y'all so much for continuously showing me support, whether I'm here or not. Being that I created a basis with a lot of y'all and connections with a lot of y'all as my supporters, it just, I'm grateful for that. Y'all are real vocal and comfortable with me still to this day. Like, people that was watching me two years ago still, every. This is beyond me. I appreciate y'all and the connection we made. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna turn this camera off and then come back when I'm done. We're gonna say goodbye. And I'm gonna get this storage situation figured out for the future. Okay? Boom. Oops. There we go. Okay, well, I'm done. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Oh my God. This is like really how this goes. No, for real. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one. Let me know what y'all think about everything down below in the comments. Leave new video suggestions, just anything down in the comments. Let me know what's up. Let me know how y'all are, all of that. Okay, I'm gonna see y'all. Oh wait, but look at my hair though. Okay.